So try and say a little bit different there, guys. Welcome back to the channel on a new video. We know this is not the most exciting thing in the world, so I actually just left it, dropped it to the paint shop, and thought, let's not do another video on it till it's painted back here, and we got every single part for it. You would have seen on my Instagram story where I dropped my whole socket set down the scrapyard, and I just popped down to get one of these little pieces of foam that goes inside there, but come out pretty nice, mate, didn't yeah, it? Looks good, doesn't it? So front bumper painted, wing, door, quarter panel, and of course, those horrible scratches on that rear bumper. We also used a new paint guy that I met at the paint over at Kemp Paints, and he's done a lovely job for it. He watches the videos, and I think it was very, very reasonably priced. And there was no waiting around. He'd just done it straight away. So I'm just popping out to actually get something done on, well, you would have seen that video. I've got Chris's a6 around the corner that he's kept and i'm just whipping that over for tracking to finish the video off so you're going to unload this mate and then just get everything out for it i guess and yep. we'll pick up as soon as i get back As usual, guys, I am leaving Chris to do all of the work. No, I am just about to pop out and grab a couple of bits. But Chris said, yeah, do a cutting, Rob, because he needs to transfer everything from this bumper onto that nice new bumper. Fortunately, I've been and got all the bits for it. So we've got that new insert there. We've got a new daytime running light. That came in. That was really expensive, that. Couldn't believe second-hand unit and it was very, very expensive. Of course, we'll come to that in the numbers. And another thing, I never noticed, not once when we purchased this car, and it weren't until we was loading it on the truck, you said, that doesn't sound right. Yeah. And we popped the bonnet, and there's actually a crack and a, and a piece missing out uh, of this. So I think I actually bought this on eBay. It's about 15 quid, yeah. and there was loads on there for sale. So <laughs> we're quietly confident we've got everything maybe one wing bracket this side i forgot but i'm gonna pop to sheppy motor salvage and grab that because that's where i got all the other little bits and pieces for this car so i'll leave you with chris to swap all of that over and i'll go and do what i gotta do and try and grab your wing bracket for this side Just to get those wing to bumper brackets quickly it's a quick visit to the dealer fortunately only a 10 minute drive for us so i ordered them yesterday they should be in a little bit of running around for me this morning but while i've been gone chris has fitted this uh like lower skirt for the seal that was actually missing this side and the other side had quite a few broken clips yeah so you've just been under there and repaired all those yeah i went to the dealer picked up these two new as you see in a little bit of video two new wing to bump bumper to wing brackets basically the bumper sits right inside there and locks in and then you put the bolt through so front bumper all completely fitted up chris did that while i was out new drl new cover the original fog light all the grills they was all fine when i first picked this one up over christmas i actually said to you on the phone oh it's not a lot of parts no but it's actually turned out yeah. Quite a lot of parts on this one. For a start, we had to put new front brake discs and pads on it, new rear discs and pads. We had to buy a new alley wheel for it and have that refurbished. Didn't we have them all? We had them all done. We did. So yeah. we've had all the wheels refurbished, uh, drive shaft, drop link. It's just loads of bits. Yeah. I think this is going to actually add up to a few quid in the numbers. Yeah. But this does have a little bit more of a value than our normal cars because this one didn't go through an insurance company. Yeah. Chris, while you're fitting that, yep. you've said that people have mentioned it in the comments, so I'm actually gonna mention it now. 
Um, these cars are not recorded. You're saying it's unrecorded. Why is it not showing up in car vertical, etc., right. etc.? Yes. And basically, if I make a mistake here, can you just correct me on it? The cars are owned by you, the people. But if you have an accident in your car and you claim off your insurance, that car's no longer your property. It belongs to the insurance company. If it's a total loss. If yeah. it's a total loss. So a car will only go on the register if an insurance company deems it so. So if they say, right, we're writing it off, they total, pay you total out. Total loss. Total yep. loss. They yep. take the car. They own the car. So the only way Car Vertical or anyone else can find out if that car's actually been total lost or written off is if that car, the insurance company, have left that marker on it and a claim has been made. So this car, there was a bit of a story. They didn't attempt to go through their insurance. So there's no way Car Vertical or anybody else can find no, out no. that the car's been previously involved in an accident because there's no record of it. I do hope that did make sense and that weren't too much waffle. If you've got any other questions about it, put them in the comments section down but below. Ju just to add that we feature these vehicles on the YouTube channel, so there's no kind of trying to hide oh, no, its history. Not. We're quite open with when you advertise the vehicle Pretty much 90% of people that purchase them follow the channel anyway, don't they? Yeah. So they're well aware they've seen the vehicle on there. That's right. But if on the odd occasion someone doesn't, we still... Show them the way to the video. Yeah, yeah. that's right. So Definitely. But I don't think anyone's ever questioned us no, selling an unrecorded no. car. That's not, that's not the issue But here. it, it's it not won't be issue. recorded on a database <clears throat> anywhere. No. For any company to or any individual it's just to search and find. I've seen quite a few of them yeah. comments. Well, yeah. why didn't it come up? It's been in a yeah. crash. But yeah. and I do reply saying, how would they know? No, you know, that's right. it's impossible, isn't it? Right, you've got one more bracket to put on, yep. and then we're going to move on and actually get this front bumper fitted and pull this little car back together. So here is the little DS once checking it on car vertical. Mileage okay, theft okay, accidents okay finance okay this car is a hundred percent clear also on the check you can check the mileage history if there's been any frauds or any activity on there it will display that like i said previously if it has been involved in any accidents it will show you the accident date and sometimes not always you'll also see pictures of the previous damage and the listing when it has gone through an auction site so that one is all absolutely fine. There's no mileage issues with it whatsoever. It's all going in the right direction now. What I am going to do is just show you another one. So here's one me and Chris was previously offered. Mileage okay, theft okay, accidents. We were still interested in this one until we scrolled down and see this marker. So someone actually tried to sell us this car on Instagram, guys, and you can see there, 08 2022, and it clearly says down there, Category B write-off cannot be repaired. Body shell has to be crushed, but you can salvage other parts from it. I want to thank Car Vertical once again for the continued support on the channel. Guys, when you do your check, the check is performed in the United Kingdom, US, Poland, France, just to name a few. There's also nine helpful tips and tricks right at the bottom of things to check when you're purchasing your vehicle. To benefit from a 10% discount off your check, use the link in the description or the code SR10 from any browser. Let's get back to work. No real good angle to catch that without me. I'll tell you what, I way. think he's done quite a good bit of paintwork there, don't you? Yeah. I'll send them A1 bits to him, definitely. Yeah. Well, it oh. looks like he's going to get them done quicker anyway. Yeah. Is your yellow wire the plug for it? It's halfway up, isn't it? Yeah, that's floating. Do you know what? I just thought, Chris, I didn't even bring any uh, bolts with me, but I think them clips, where they're new, they're yeah. quite tight. Yeah. you sending it on. Yeah. It's held it in. Lovely. Yeah. I've got them here, them ones I took out yesterday. That fits nice in the headlight there. Oh, as does yours. But it wasn't damaged on the front anyway, was it? I think a short one went in the headlight. Can you see that? That one went in there. 
Oh, that pipe, broken pipe. Oh, we can get to that, that's fine. Don't, um, don't forget Copart bidding, mate. Oh yeah, Colchester, I'll, um, I'll get on that in a sec. I'll help you get this on first, so it's secure, yeah. and then... There you go, mate, that one now. Cheers. Shall I get on the auction? We don't need a time lapse this anyway, do we? Um, we could leave it... Oh, you probably need your phone, don't you? Unless yeah. you go, uh, use my phone, just leave that time lapse in. Yeah. I'll put the splash in. All right. Well, two <coughs> splashes to go in, aren't they? Are you logged in? Um, yeah, I think, well, I think I've saved the password, so just go on the app and it should open, mate. Oh, it is Colchester, isn't it? Yeah. Did that lad get back to you yesterday who um, offered us that motor? No, not yet. I'll um, I'll give him a call again today. Let's move this. Let's make sure. It's... Oh, I've done it again. What's that, mate? That's not time lapse. That's live. Is it really? Yeah. Um. Oh, well, just... don't, was there any farting or swearing? No. We'll just use it. Oh, no. let's cut it there for a second. So in my defence, it was a wet and windy day when I went and picked this up. And if you remember, guys, I had to drag it up the back of the truck using a baking tray on this front wheel because it was actually knocked right back. But I did not notice on this car that hole in that pipe. Honestly, I did not notice that hole. And it was only when it started running lumpy, I thought, oh, what's going on there? And we popped the bonnet and see that hole in it. So I did manage to buy one of these cheap off of eBay. We're going to get that swapped out. And then I think we're pretty much there with it. That is it all back together with the wheel arch liners in. It looked nice with a bit of tyre shine. They look awful, don't they? But it does need a good clean. But today, I don't know what day you're going to see this video, but this is the weather we got today. It is awful out there. And I woke up this morning. I went to bed last night. My garden was lovely and green. I woke up and it was pure white. And we had something turn up. And I rang you, Chris, didn't you? And he said, have you seen it out there? Anyway, guys, let's get that little pipe swapped out and then listen to it run. But I'm sure it's going to be a lot, lot better. Well, we've got daytime running lights, both sides. So that's good. No damage there. Chris did tie it plug straight in. And it probably, every engine sounds terrible on camera, doesn't it? But... Standing here, that sounds absolutely perfect now. I do need to top up the coolant. I've just topped up the oil, check the brake fluid. And then inside, there is a couple of lights to turn out. It's got a service light there and the attraction control light. And that is on, obviously, because that wheel got knocked off, didn't it? So we'll have a look into that. But I'm going to let it get up to temperature because we never have. We've never let it get right up to temperature. Let's get it plugged in get them codes cleared and uh, take it for a run, make sure they don't come back, see what it drives like. Quick scan, guys, I'll let it do its thing and then uh, I'll actually show you what car codes it's got. Nine already popped up there, but this does take quite a while, so I'll let it finish. Some very unusual codes there. That took ages to load, but not one I've ever seen. Engine wiring housing BSM fault seven. So I'm just gonna look into them all, guys, like I said before, I know a lot of you, I know some of you are really interested and you want to know exactly what I found and how I dealt with it. But at this stage, the truth is I will only clear all of these codes and then run it to make sure to see if any of them come back. You can see there, right front side lamp, that was broke. 
left front position lamp, open circuit, because that one was unplugged, right low beam, fault on driver's lamp, driver's lamp, right front fog lamp, right fog lamp, yeah, so actually, do you know what, once I clear them, none of them will actually come back, they'll all be gone, because they are all to do with the lights. Actually, did I just clear those properly? Let's have a look. Reading codes. This is where I eat my words. Seven, they've all come back. Maybe we need to disconnect the battery. Let me go through all these, reset them, and I'll show you once it's all clear. So, 100% pass, no more faults. But, took a little bit of fish in there. Yeah. What did we come up with, Chris? Two blown bulbs. Two blown light bulbs, but what was the main issue? You hadn't plugged the headlight in. What do you mean I hadn't done it? <laughs> I'm not going to take the blame. The driver's someone side... Hadn't. Someone that No, do you know what? It was unplugged. It just wanted you plugging in. We've done another code scan on it, and every single light has gone off. Right, let's take it out on a road test. Should we go and get it tracked up? Yeah, let's go and get the tracking check, because that had a right wallet, that wheel, and, um, yeah, we'll pick up and see how we get on. Guys, look how bad that is. That's really bad. Only on the front of the back, it's bang on. Yeah, uh, not bang on, but, but absolutely fine. Wind tolerance, um, all good there. So it'll only let you adjust the front. You think really, I'll do a bit of research on this, I know what you was talking <laughs> about, <laughs> wouldn't you? But what's, what I don't, it's, I'm not learning it because you're the expert in the field, aren't you? You're just best off leaving it to the experts. So yeah, again, uh, on the outside front, we can only adjust the toe on this. Um, we can tell it's had a bit of a whack on this side. Yeah. If we, when we bring this in, that should bring that camber back over as what? well. It's that far out in the offside front, it's gone to an X, it's no longer an angle. Right. So we need to bring that right in. Negative one degree 33, massive, massive. So what you're saying is me doing it by eye, I need to go to spec yeah. savers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to get a bit of string out. Let's let Rich do his thing. What uh, Rich was doing this is just giving me a bit of education about it, but I'm still not going to pretend and try and say that he sorted it. But all those green lights to me mean you've got it bang on. Yeah, same numbers. I've tugged them in slightly because they are pointing for inside edge wear, so I've turned them in slightly bad like that. Thank you. For you. Lovely, sure, jubbly. Sure, yeah. It drive quite nice now. It was left hand down a lot, Rich, yeah, and massive. to be honest, it didn't. I didn't go over 50, but it drove horrible. Right, should be fine now. Let's, um, well, I suppose I better go and get it cleaned, but this weather's awful, isn't it? Keep this one brief, guys, and I've decided to do the numbers in here today because I want to stand next to this fire. Like I said earlier, it is awful out there. So, purchase price on that one, I paid too much for it £1,500. Sounds like a lot of car for 1500 2015 Citroen DS3, but I think it was probably a little bit too much for it. Collection, £40. Drive shaft, wishbone, etc., £80. Bumper, £80. Bought a new one, obviously, a genuine new one. Um, wing, £70. Headlight, got that off of eBay. Is that 65 or 85 85 pound alloy wheel got that really cheap showed you that in the previous video where i took it off for refurb that was 50 pound that wheel discs and pads i had to put four sets right around it 198 pound alloy wheel refurb we had them all done they needed doing 200 pound daytime running lights remember me saying early in this video how expensive it was 75 pound for that light second hand Air intake pipe, again, I mentioned it earlier, £16 off of eBay. Bumper brackets from the dealer, £35. Wheel splash was £20. Paint and materials, this is just for Chris, £60. Paint shop and spraying, I think this is really reasonable. Painted the back bumper, the quarter, the door, the wing, and the complete front bumper. And it's a lovely job, £500. Tracking, £30. Side skirt, £40. We got a total of £2,979. It's a lot of money, three grand, when you give 1500 for it and it's cost 1500 to do it. You could argue that a lump of that is the paint, but still 2979 I've just had a flip through eBay and you can buy one with like 130 140 on it for 
three seven fifty to four grand and then they go right up to six grand so we're just going to ask for that car it's done eighty thousand. i think you'd have to do a mot history check i know i did and it's not the mot doesn't run out until the eighth so we haven't done it we are going to ask four thousand pound for it which is going to give us a pre-tax profit of one thousand and twenty one pounds so we won't be booking any holidays soon to barbados but it's definitely not a loss isn't it and it's another lovely lovely little car on the road it is a 1.2 turbo petrol and i know it's only 20 pound a year for the road tax as well so it's going to be a nice little cheap car for someone and of course in the coming future in the next probably within a week i'll be advertising that one on instagram and of course guys if you are interested as soon as i put it on there inbox me including your telephone number and of course i'll give you a call back in the order that they come in please don't send me messages beforehand as soon as you've watched the video saying i'll have it with your number because we just don't work like that guys it, you have to wait until i advertise it on there and of course then send us your message so follow us on instagram at salvage rebuilds follow chris on his jollies salvage rebuilds chris like subscribe and share and we'll see you all very very soon in the next one